seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So there are a number of different ways that you can go about setting tasks within HubSpot. And tasks is really a pivotal tool, it's a pivotal uh, function as it relates to productivity of anyone, sales professional, marketer, we can't afford to miss these uh, important next steps as it relates to a customer, whether it's sending a proposal, making a follow-up, getting something done. So how do we go about doing that? Well, I'm going to show you at least maybe four ways, four different ways that within HubSpot and also through our Gmail portal, uh, we will be able to set the task. So the first way that we're going to be looking at is from right within our Gmail account. So if we were to go to our um, HubSpot sales extension within Gmail and we were to click, as I would have shared with you all before, it will bring up, excuse me, the list of accounts. In this example, we only have one, right? So what I could do is that I will click on the contact that I am looking for and you will notice that it says tasks. So from here, I can see exactly what tasks are existing or I can create a task. So let's say, for instance, I want to say this is going to be a task, task, all right? And I will, from here, I can actually choose the date and time. So that's one way. Another way that we can go about doing this is if we were to go to the a section right next to contacts in the, in the HubSpot sales extension and click tasks. And from here, I will go to create task and I'll have a lot more detailed information, right? Where I can say this is a task, task, excuse me, um, the type of task that I'd like to do, which is to either do something, which is maybe send a proposal um, or make a phone call, <coughs> excuse me, or to visit a customer or send an email to a client. So I'll choose which one. I'd like to do how important this task is in terms of setting your priority. What are the associated records? So in this one, we're going to type in and uh, what HubSpot is going to do is going to look through what we have in terms of our contact record right now. Oh, there we go. All right. So we're going to associate it to these two things, a contact and a company. All right, it's assigned to Lyndon Braffitt because I'm working out of my of, out of my email account. And now a task queue. A task queue could be anything from as simple as a follow-up to something that you can create and you can call it an invoice. I'll I'll do I'll touch on those things in a separate video. Uh, from here we could of course now choose your desired business days. So of course, how soon do you want to follow up on this particular task? And from here again, you can now choose your due date and time, like what time of the day would you like to be reminded of this particular of this particular task. And of course, you can set as to whether you would like to receive a reminder or not, and when would you like to receive a reminder. And of course, in terms of being a little bit more specific, you can put additional notes. Right, so that is way number two. Now, the other way that you can actually do this by going directly into your HubSpot account and you can go straight into your contact record. Now, when you go into your contact record, what you will be doing is that in the center, you will see the option right within here that says task, All right? So if you were to click on this, you will now have the same option of creating a task. Right, and you can, again, you can choose, I want to send an email, right? And I want this done within the next three days. I would like to have it done by 3 p.m., oh, sorry, by 8.30 a.m. Um, if you want to set a reminder, you can set a reminder to remind you a day before or 30 days, 30 minutes before. <clears throat> excuse me, you can set it as a repeat task if you so choose. And well, you already put email up here. So what HubSpot is actually doing is a little intuitive. So it's going to read if I were to change this to call, All right? Notice that it said it moved from call to email. If I were to switch it back to email, right? It's recognizing what you are writing and it's going to switch it accordingly. 
right? You choose the priority, you choose the queue on who it's assigned to. Now from right within here, if I chose to assign it to someone else, I can say this is not for me, but this is for someone else within my team, and you put a description. Now a really cool thing with this is that you get the ability to associate this with different people within the OGS. So let's say for instance, I wanted to associate this with one other contact. I can search for that contact within the contact record, or I can search for it for an add an additional company based upon how this particular transaction or conversation is going. So those are just the different ways that you can go about setting up your tasks within HubSpot. If it is that you had to go about clearing those tasks as well, you can go to you can go to sales you will come down to where it says tasks and what this will do is that this will show you all of your respective tasks that are due, that are overdue, that is upcoming, that's outstanding. And this is where you can also create specific task queues.